Hi y'all, this is the Oklahoma Grammy. My name is Sandra, and today is December the 14th. We have exactly 11 days until Christmas. This is my grandson, Jackson, I call him Itty Bitty. Uh, he's going to be helping me. We're going to be making uh, a compilation of everything that we're going to do for Christmas, minus the mini pizzas that we're going to make for Christmas Day. So I hope that you'll stay with us and we're going to show you what we're going to do on the first day and the second day and the third day of making cookies and different things appetizers and stuff like that for our family so i hope you'll enjoy and uh we'll be right back with you i'm going to show you exactly what we're going to make i have it written out on my dry erase board okay i'm here we're going to be making mini fruit cakes we're going to be making Rudolph cheese balls. We're going to be making Christmas nougat candy, Christmas gumdrop candy, easy divinity candy, Christmas cherry cookies, Kris Kringle cookies, no bake Christmas cookies, Christmas hot cocoa cups, snowman cookies, rolled sprinkle cookies, sugar peppermint cookies, peanut butter reindeer cookies, decorated cutout cookies, peanut butter chocolate kiss cookies, Grinch brownies, and gingerbread men cookies. So I hope that you'll stay with us and you'll enjoy. This video will probably be like three different videos into one, so it may be about an hour long, and I hope that you'll enjoy watching everything that I do. <coughs> and I will tell you how I made every one of them after I finish. All right. Hi, y'all. This is everything that I had made. Um, the fudge, which is the nougats, um, this is what they look like. You have to leave these set in your refrigerator uh, for at least 12 hours overnight, so that's what I did. I did a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer uh, cheese ball, and you also need to let that set at least 12 hours or overnight. Um, the reason for this being is the candy needed to harden up and the um, cheese ball also needs to harden up. Uh, I did all of this. These are the Grinch brownies, and these are the little mini uh, fruit cakes that I made. I'm going to be making more for you, so I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to put the description down on how to do everything, and I can tell you now how I did it. Um, I will also put it in the subscription. The Christmas nougat candy. You want to get um, like uh, Juju's or Dots candy, or if you like making um, the little soft uh, candy, you can put that in there too. You're going to use two bags of marshmallows. You're going to use um, two cups of the chopped candies. I did the little green and red. I didn't put all of them in there. The little dots candies are good to use too. Um, don't use spice candy drops because it's just going to make it really nasty and nobody's going to want it. Uh, a half, I mean, not a half, I'm sorry. You're going to want to use two tablespoons of real butter. Don't use the margarine because if you do, it's got oil in it and the candies will not set. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. You're going to mic microwave this in a glass bowl at least, uh, I want to say, a four, a four cup or a larger cup bowl. Um, the reason being is you're going to use two packages of the white mini marshmallows with two packages of white chocolate chips. Uh, whenever you put it in there, your bowl is going to be really, really full. You want to make sure that your butter is on the bottom of that bowl. I have a 750 watt microwave, so it took me probably three minutes to get all of it melted. It's going to want to set up really, really quick, so make sure you stir it up as fast as you can and get everything uh, melted together, and then take your bowl of candy that's got two cups of these candies in it and pour it in there and stir it up really good. Put it in a 9 by 13 pan with... with uh, parchment paper in it and 
and you, you probably need somebody to help you hold that parchment paper uh, and just pour it down the middle and then as quickly as you can spread it out all the way over to the sides and put it in your refrigerator and just let it set. The longer it sets, the better this is going to be. Uh, once you take it out and you cut it up, my hands, I have arthritis, so it took me a while to cut this because it's very hard. Um, I mean, if you leave it set out, it won't be that hard, but after you do this, get some uh, plastic wrap and cut it in smaller pieces and take and uh, put your candy on it and wrap it up and it'll stay for about a month. You can even freeze this. It, it travels real good. Um, you know, it, it doesn't, it will get soft, but it won't lose its texture is what I'm saying. The little mini fruit cakes, you're gonna use a half a cup of the glazed cherries cut in half, a half a cup, here I go again, I'm trying, you're going to use a cup of the glazed cherries cut in half, is what I'm trying to say. You're going to use a cup of the green glazed cherries cut in half. You're going to use one cup of the mixed glazed fruit. You're going to use three-fourths of a cup of raisins. These could be any kind of raisins that you want. You're going to use two and three-fourths cups of flour. You're going to use one teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. And the way you do this is, oh, and you're gonna use two uh, cups of sugar. Now you can even use stevia in this or uh, Splenda, whatever you wanna use, and it will still make. And you're going to want to use two blocks, eight ounce blocks of cream cheese softened at room temperature. Make sure anything that you're baking is at room temperature and two eggs. Now, the way that I did this is you put your cream cheese, your sugar, cream it together real good. You're going to, uh, next you're going to want to take and add one egg at a time, blend it up. After you get your eggs in there, you're going to do one teaspoon of vanilla, I forgot that, and a half a teaspoon of almond extract. After each thing you put in this, make sure you stir it up. You can put it in a pan that's got a paddle on it, or you can use your regular beaters. You're really going to want to use a hand mixer with this if you don't have one of the mixers with a paddle. It's going to be too hard to mix it by hand. Once you get done with that, you're going to take and you're going to put two tablespoons of flour in a pretty good sized bowl. You're going to add all of your fruit plus your raisins in that, and you're going to want to stir it all up. Uh, to get that flour incorporated into all of that fruit. And then once you do that, set it aside. Next, take, once you've got all your wet ingredients, next, take your flour and pour it in there where you've got three, you're gonna pour it in three times. That way you're not putting it in there all at once. After you get all that done, remove your beaters, remove your paddle, whatever you have out of your bowl, Go ahead and clean them and next what you're going to do is you're going to gently fold in all of that fruit into your mix. This made six uh, mini fruit cakes. Now this should also be able to make, uh, if you've got a regular size uh, bread pan, I would only do half of it at a time because remember it's got flour in it and it's got baking powder in it so it's going to rise and you don't want it to rise out of your pan. Um, we do the minis that way we, we're going to put these in plastic wrap and we're going to put them up. We'll eat some of them for Christmas and the rest you can, fruitcake will last all year long. Now I did not put brandy in this but if you wanted to you can add a half a cup of brandy. I don't use it so I didn't do that. Uh, you can also add chopped walnuts to it. My daughter didn't want the walnuts in it, so I didn't put it in there for her. On our cheese ball, very, very easy to make. You're going to use uh, two, uh, two blocks of the softened cream cheese again, two eight ounce boxes. You're going to use one package of ranch dressing. Uh, you can get it at Walmart you're going to use one and a half cups of chopped up pecans. You're going to use two black olives, 
and you're going to use one uh, cherry tomato and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, cream cheese and you're going to whip it up you're going to put oh and I forgot you're going to use four cups of uh, sharp cheddar cheese in this uh, I just bought a package of the four cup package at Walmart and put it in there you're going to add the cream cheese the seasoning pack of ranch dressing and the cheese mix it all up really really good and take you a piece of saran wrap or plastic wrap wrap it up take another piece and wrap it up again make you a good size ball out of it uh, you're gonna let like I said this needs to set at least 12 hours if not longer so I just left the nougat candy and the cheese ball in there until this morning I got up and uh, took all the saran wrap off and what I did is I left the bottom part on and I took and put all the pecans around it I put the two little pretzels for his ears and the little olives for his eyes and the little cherry tomato these will go on with toothpicks you just take a toothpick in there and get something to help push it back a little bit that way the toothpick isn't showing through the eyes or the little nose on him and this is what he looks like and you just put uh, rich crackers around the little tray make sure you get you a cute little tray that way you can display it and over here we have the Grinch brownies now I have a large family so I use the sheet cake pan a sheet cake pan is basically two nine by 13 cake pans if you don't have a large family just use one pan uh, okay uh, one of the 9 by 13s take a nonstick spray and spray that pan really really good take uh, what I did because I have a lot to cook so I took two boxes of brownie mix mix it up together and put it in your sheet pan put it in your oven at 350 and bake it for about 30 minutes and it should be done you're going to do the cake like brownies okay so once that got done you can take vanilla frosting tint it with green food coloring or or food paste whichever you prefer until you get the color that you want i went to walmart and just bought two containers of the green uh, vanilla frosting and i put that all over that if you have one pan that you're making get you some um now this called for peppermint in the frosting but my grandbabies didn't want any so I didn't put any in it uh, but you can put peppermint frosting or mint frosting in it uh, you can use red hots we use red M&Ms um, the black on top is Oreo cookies we did a half a pack of Oreo cookies crushed them up and put them over the top after I put the frosting on it and then we added the little um, m and red M&M's over the top of that you can take and use maybe a quarter of a package if you're only doing it for a smaller bunch of people instead of using the half sheet I would only make one 9 by 13 pan if you don't have that many and this is how easy it was to make all of this and the biggest part was waiting for the nougat candy and the cheese ball to set and get hard enough to be able to cut it in to be able to put the nuts on the reindeer and if you like this video i hope that you enjoy it you'll give it a big thumbs up you'll subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and you'll share this video out for others to watch and until next time bye